Hello everyone, welcome to part two of Drivecast with Chessbait talking about whether a lot of jokes are allowed to be made. So, uh, last time I talked to you a little, not really in depth, but I went a little bit into talking about just the general, um, how do I say this? The general disdain that people have for, for jokes. Um, actually, before I say anything, you know, uh, I, I hate to go on a wild tangent like this, but you know how people say that your voice is different when heard than said out loud? I've never realized that until now, and wow, um, I never sound so much like a... Okay, darn it, it's gonna be a red light, it's gonna be a red light! When I turn, then that's gonna turn into a red light on the Savai... Yep, there it is. Gosh dang it. It's just the way that the traffic works around here, but... Let's not dwell on that. Um, jokes, yes. Uh, so, uh, I think a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago, I had a really, I wouldn't say heated argument. I don't really get into arguments unless if I genuinely, uh, genuinely have a disdain for the other person. But, um, I mean, I really shouldn't let emotions get the better of me. But I do, but that's not what he- we're here to talk about. I mean, kind of. So, we had a whole debacle. Uh, what's, what's the word? A... A whole conversation about whether rape jokes are funny or just any jokes about um, offensive comments and this is going to be the episode that definitely gets me canceled which is ironic because I'm pretty sure this is episode 13 and if I'm wrong uh, I'm near and around there uh, 13 is actually one of my favorite numbers um, I will explain in some detail in a future video but right now we're here to talk about jokes um, I, I don't know I really like comedy like, when it's done poorly, and when it's done really poorly, we love to laugh at it, um, but not for the joke being funny, just laughing at the person, or even better, just booing at the person, because who doesn't love anything more than, uh, than, um, than hating people that we all collectively hate, because that's what mob mentality is about, um, but certain jokes are considered a little... Uh, over the edge, a little too, um, how do I say this, a little too sensitive, and, um, I, in the last drive cast, we talked about how there's a term called snowflakes, which, uh, I don't know if it's more of a recent term, especially with the age of social media, but it is a term that exists, and to put it simply in layman's terms, it means someone who gets offended a little too easily, um, they, they, they find uh, even the little uh, the littlest of offense in every single thing that's, uh, that a person says to someone else. And the reason they're called snowflakes is because um, snowflakes in general media just have the... How do I say this? Um, flakes in general have the connotation of being uh, light... Not light-headed, just light-weighted, I guess. Uh, you know, when, when someone says they're flaky, it's because they don't... Um, it's because they don't, one, they don't have commitment, and two, like, they get swayed way too easily. Swayed, that's the, that's the key term. They get swayed in the wind, they get swayed in other people's arguments all too much. And I will say that I do get in swayed in a lot of arguments a lot, um, for good reason. But when the other side has a genuinely good argument, uh, not argument, but, you know, the, the, their perspective. When they have a genuinely good perspective to share, I tend to uh, approach the conversation in a more educated manner because uh, if I look uh, if I make myself look like a fool it would mean I play devil's advocate for no reason whatsoever so I I wouldn't I didn't make the claim but I try to make the I try to have the perspective of um, rape jokes can be funny if said in the right way obviously we can't just say rape jokes are funny all the time I, again like I said in the last drivecast episode you can't just be uh, saying saying jokes about the n-word all the time and just like blurp that out ev- blurp um, blurp that word out every blurp blurp gosh that, that, blurt blurt that's the word I'm looking for you can't just blurt the word out uh, every other uh, every other second uh, because you want to make a point about it like that no that's not how you that's not how you approach things that's, obviously um, my friend I wouldn't say he got disappointed in me like he the kind of the sad thing was we kind of got nowhere because we ended up like even though I played devil's advocate simply to have like the other perspective I um, we actually it was three of us talking but uh, it was mainly me and another person because the other person left for a little bit um, we 
ended up going nowhere because we like we understood our, uh, each other's opinions, or we, yeah, we we, each other, we understood each other's opinions, and we knew that uh, because um, most jokes have such a gray area, everything is all based on precedent, and if there is no precedent for stuff like that, then we will never know what is considered funny and what isn't. I, I hate to bring this example up. Um, everyone, I hate that the media keeps bringing up the, the PewDiePie Fiverr incident. Like, it's so, once, first of all, if that was PewDiePie of a different era, he was a little more edgy at that point, and he, I wouldn't say he was influenced by the, by the YouTube community, but it didn't do any good for him. Um, you know, just being, the YouTube being, uh, YouTube being toxic and everything. And this was before he blew up again with Minecraft and with Terraria and, you know, all the other games again, and Subnautica and, and etc. And, moving on. Um, and obviously, he still does feel bad for that, but he's moved on. And I don't know why the news media can't seem to move on, because, um, if whatever they bring his name up, they always have to mention that. Like... Oh, hey, remember PewDiePie? He did a lot of good for uh, a lot of people by donating a lot to charity and, uh, you know, just generally giving a lot of money away to to people in need and also providing a lot of, um, what's it called? Providing a lot of, um, what's the word? Awareness. Awareness, that's not the word. Just spreading, you know, happiness generally um, through memes, through uh, highlighting other YouTubers that are, that are doing well. And just generally having a good time when uh, going through his subreddit, going through his, uh, playing his games and whatnot. And for some reason, uh, after all the good work that he's done, uh, they still mentioned the whole Fiverr incident. L like, seriously, like, you make one bad mistake and all of a sudden you get condemned forever? Like, when do, when do, why don't Hollywood actors, um, get to have that same treatment? Like, obviously, if you think of Harvey Weinstein, no matter how much work he's done, you're gonna remember him for one thing. If you think of, um... Uh, I was gonna say another person, but I don't really want to bring it up. Um, obviously, there's a lot of, there's, um, I don't know, Jeffrey Epstein. Everybody knows him for one thing. Like, there's no matter what, people are only gonna remember him for one thing. I don't care if advertisers find this non-friendly. Like, I have to get it out. Like, we get it. If the severity is bad enough, and it's something that's just generally considered as something terrible, that's unforgivable, then yes. It, I, I feel like that's kind of warranted but the whole PewDiePie incident like everyone's gotten over it even the people that hate him has gotten over it I, I don't know it's, I don't understand it if I, if I brought up uh, I, hate to, I hate to bring this example up but if I brought up Mark Wahlberg and how uh, I, don't, I don't this could be inaccurate I'm just thinking off the top of my head I'm pretty sure he was um uh, he was considered to be racist at a certain point. I don't know if he is anymore. Uh, he could just not be, and I could be very incorrect. But if people mar uh, brought up Mark Wahlberg as what he used to be, um, I don't know, man. That's kind of sus. Like the whole, Even the whole idea of, uh, of Bojack Horseman is, okay, this person messed up, and he's gotten over it, and he's being, uh, being brought up for past actions. And sure, it's genuinely terrible, the things that he's done. Um, that's kind of where the gray area starts to really be muddled because yes the things that he did was genuinely terrible but he's brought a new leaf but we don't know but the new media doesn't know if he's uh, turned a new leaf and etc etc um i'm kind of running out of time so i should probably get back to the idea of jokes um so yeah we we ended up ag um, agreeing with the problem that we don't know where to draw the line because jokes are very um subjective it's it's always going to depend on uh, your political views, your social, uh, socioeconomic status, just everything that you were born and raised with. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, um, being offended to certain things is also going to depend on whether you, uh, you experience certain things. For example, I'm not one who experienced non, uh, Vietnam War, um, and which is why I just uh, casually talk about non-flashbacks. Now, if you are one who has had non-flashbacks or are a um, mental, what's it called, mental health worker, uh, then maybe you'd be a little more offended by people making casual uh, jokes about having PTSD. But, I don't know, like if you can't make light 
if you can't make light of a dark moment, I don't know why jokes exist in the first place. Like, why would why would people want to joke in the first place? It's such a it's such a depressing world if if no one was allowed to laugh. This, this is the reason something, the reason people laugh at something, is because they find humor in something, even if it's something absolutely absurd, like most memes. Uh, if it's even if it's something with absolutely no meaning, and uh, no coherency, if if there is a reason why people like it, then I, I don't know how to say this properly. I, I don't want to. I don't want to go too far on a tangent in a place where I. Uh, to say something that I don't actually believe in, but uh, might end up getting published on the internet and for all the people to see and cancel. Um, okay, he's turning left. But TLDR, like we we make jokes out of dark moments because we want to we want to lighten the load. We we don't want everything to be depressing all the time. And if we're not allowed to have that, then why why be happy in the first place? Seriously. Like, sure, there's happiness um, that we can all have together, and there's happiness at one's expense. Or a certain, how do I say this, a certain group's offense? I, I don't I don't know how to put that correctly. But, look, if you're not willing to address certain topics up at all, and if you're willing to just keep it serious all the time, it's, 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 I don't know, like, it's just a topic that no one would ever want to bring up. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a good joke you can make about bestiality. And you have to, you probably have to punch up really hard. If you punch down, really bad. If you punch up really hard, you might have a good chance of getting a laugh out of someone. Um, especially if you're talking about the furry community, because that, that, that group is way easier to uh, punch on. But, seriously, you shouldn't... I mean, all I'm saying is... People, people need to take a chill pill, especially, uh, it's the winter, haha, <laughs> no, uh, especially since it's 2020, we've all gone through so much, like, we, we need a little bit of, we need a little bit of, uh, sunshine, and sometimes jokes are the only thing that, that break the ice, uh, sorry for all the puns, the, uh, the winter puns, but seriously, it genuinely is, like, think, think about a lot of, uh, think about a time where, like, you, you're meeting a, a, a new friend or just a new co-worker. And, like, the first time you ever get to know them like, genuinely well is probably either through a joke. It's probably through a joke that you shared. It could be an inside joke. It could just be a joke about a, a certain show that you both like. It could be um, just a joke. Of, any joke, really. And as long as... I don't know. As long as, long as you both laugh, then... You both get to know each other. I don't know where I'm going with this. You know, when I first started this, I was trying to I was trying to replicate the Off the Pill podcast from uh, Nigahiga because everybody knows who he is and uh, everybody really loves him. And I thought I could ramble on like this all the time, but uh, his stuff is a lot more scripted. I will admit. Uh, I just carry on a bunch of thoughts I had inside of me and just uh, blurt it out. There we go. I finally said the word correctly. Um. Well, if you guys enjoyed this, um, I'm sorry I didn't actually talk about jokes all too much. All, all these considered, I would go into a little more depth, but I don't really have notes on me right now. Uh, like, notes about the conversation, and I don't really want to get into political views, especially um, especially with the just all the other overwhelming things that I have in my life. So, uh, if, you, if you enjoyed this, like, comment, and subscribe. Do all the good stuff down below, and um, I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys next time on the road. Peace.